Hiya, I'm Joe, Rock Rabbit Guitars, here in the offices shooting our very first YouTube video. Going to demonstrate this uh, Epiphone ES339 we just finished and um, probably show you why we think it's pretty cool. Um, first, you can see that it's in a very special Bayberry Green finish, nitrocellulose, sort of a, of a matte, very light matte VOS finish. The entire body, uh, back of the headstock, um, the back of the neck is sanded. It's hard to see, but it's in a very uh, satin finish. Very nice, very easy to play. Uh, Grover tuners on the back. Uh, of course, the Bigsby, which you can see. Uh, a Tone Pros uh, roller bridge. Um, but what's really cool here are the, uh, the pickups and the wiring. On the bridge position here, we have a, a TB Jones uh, Filtertron a Classic Plus. It's an overwound filter tron. Gives a little bit more, um, a little bit more punch, a little bit more grind. Um, takes off that very top, most glassiness of the regular filter trons. Not much, but it's a bit different, and uh, you'll hear that. In the neck is the power tron, which is the TV Jones take on making a filter filter tron a little more uh, PAF like. Um, it comes in somewhere in between. It has a very warm tone. Uh, you'll hear it. It's a, it's a very special. Uh, it's a very special pickup in its own right. Um, of course, we've got the uh, the cool uh, uh, clear top hat knobs in the uh, Rock Rabbit. The custom wiring harness. We have some uh, Mojo Tone uh, Precision pots on this with the Mojo Tone uh, Dijon capacitors, which is there taken on the mustard caps. Um, all done in a premium wiring harness. Um, Switchcraft switches and output jacks, of course. Um, so that's pretty much the guitar. What I like to do whenever I pick up a guitar is always play it acoustically because each guitar has its own character and its sound and it's how the wood sounds and how the materials interact. And I'm going to try to do that for you a little bit here by flipping this my little lav mic so it's pointed sort of towards the guitar. Maybe you'll hear some of the tones as they would come to my ear. It's a pretty loud guitar. Not sure how well you're hearing that on my little lav mic. Nothing you'd play for an audience, but certainly if you were sitting in your room, in a hotel room, wanted to do some chords, write a little music, just quietly to yourself, it's, uh, it's plenty loud enough where you really don't need an amplifier just to, uh, just to hear what you're doing. Um, great for practice. Um, definitely an excellent songwriting tool. These uh, hollow bodies, semi-hollow bodies, um, are certainly the uh, the do it all sort of guitar, anything from blues to jazz to um, pretty hard rock, actually. Um, Ted Nugent comes to mind. Of course, his Birdland is a is a full hollow design with all the feedback problems. Um, the center block running through this mass um, solves those all the feedback, most of the feedback. So let's plug this thing in, and I'll run you through some sounds. Okay, here we're plugged into GarageBand to the uh, clean combo, the one that looks like a little box, um, set up pretty straight up, and um, show some of the sounds of the uh, guitar, and, and uh, not really highlighting my lack of guitar talent, but the sound of the guitar. So let's start with everything turned up. On the bridge pickup, the Classic Plus, Get a couple of clean sounds. Onto the neck, the power tron in the neck. A little warmer, and both of them.
I'll go back to the bridge and I'll show you with the tone control rolled off <clears throat> just a bit. Instead of using a uh, 0.047 mic uh, capacitor on this uh, 500k tone, I've used a, a, a 0.022. I think it gives a lot more of a useful range and that way that when you turn it down it just doesn't turn into mud. It takes off a little bit of that, that top end. Not a ton. Yeah, we're down about halfway, maybe four or five. Not a crazy difference. Try that same thing up here on the Powertron on the neck. There it is. Roll it down about halfway. And roll it down most of the way. Turn the tones back up. <clears throat> These pickups also quail split. Mostly I can hear the difference in the, the hum. And the output. Not such a big tonal difference given these pickups. Try that same thing with the power trunk in the neck. Split it. Still split. Still split. Full humbucker. Still split. And of course, the big space is the only one that does that. Still in GarageBand, and I just set this up in the uh, Blues Breaker. Everything uh, turned up, a little bit of fuzz and uh, try some, uh, some single notes, hear how it sounds through the pickups and uh, maybe some power chords. And we'll start off with, uh, with just the, uh, the bridge pickup, the, uh, the Classic Plus. Try this again. Try that up here with the neck, the power trot in the neck. Try that with the uh, power tron up here in the neck. Back to the bridge. Try some. Uh, and back to the neck, we'll try the same thing. Neck sounds nice with those power chords. Well, there you have it, the uh, Rock Rabbit Epiphone ES339, Bayberry Green. Hope you enjoyed watching me embarrass myself on our very first video we've ever made. Uh, hopefully they'll improve in the future. I've uh, shot some other video, things like um, installing this, uh, this Bigsby trim on this guitar and a couple other things for you to look forward into the future. So, hope to see you around. Rock Rabbit out.